Bro, you over there the scribble before? That shit ain't for the week, bro. How was work tonight? That shit hit different when you know her ass was out. Hey, bro, one day she would come home from work, and I was like in my head, like, bro, I gotta talk to this bitch, cause like, for real, this suicidal. This bitch job making my chest hurt. So, you know, she come home first, and I'm trying to talk to her about it. Cause like, bro, she come home with so much money sometimes, and she be like, you ain't happy for me. And I, and I swear to God, I be like, bro, it's a good chance she saw some dick tonight. I don't feel like that's something you should have to worry about at a job that your girl got. You feel me? And when she get home, I say, babe, I really want you to quit your job. She said, nigga, you sound stupid as fuck. Then I was like, bitch, you got me fucked up. I ain't no hoe in mind for to be no hoe in public. I know it sounded crazy, but for real, though. Then she said, I went my whole life without having a daddy. I don't need one now. I knew me yellow was going to help the case, bro. So I tried to get her to understand. Like, look, you ain't got to be a hoe forever, bro. And she looked at me and said, Matrell, that's all I fucking know. Then she had tears coming down her eyes. And then she was real awkward because she usually tough as hell on God. I went in the hole. I'm like, bro, it's going to be straight, bro. We ain't got to do this. We know we can take another route to get to get right. You feel me? Then, you know, she landed to my shoulders. She crying. She was like, you right. And then her phone started ringing, bro. Swear to God, her phone started ringing, right? And then, look, she tried not to answer. But I'm crazy as fuck. I ain't going to lie. I grabbed her phone. I put it on speaker. As soon as I put the phone on speaker, bro, I hear nigga yells, um, hey, you still coming or what? So, you know, I'm trying to see what the fuck going on. So I stay quiet and I just look at her with a confused face. She gonna look at me, roll her eyes, say, yes, give me a minute. I say, bitch, what the fuck? Then she grab her phone and hang it up. Girl, leave me dead in my face, said she had to go back to work. Bro, it was 4.30 in the morning. I just, I just knew that she had met somebody that had niggas from the fuck on her. She looked me in my face, said, this is me. You try to turn me into something that I'll never be. And she, all I got from that is you can't turn a hoe for a housewife on God. It hurt it, but it is what it was.